you can create a VHD and install Windows on it by working through about 15 or 20 steps. The first thing you need to do is find some Windows 8.1 installation media. After you've done that, and I've got mine in my DVD drive, in File Explorer, right click this PC and click Manage. Disk Management will open. In the left pane, right click Disk Management. We'll wait for it to open. Right click Disk Management and click Create VHD. In the location box, Type the location and the name of the VHD you want to create. In the virtual hard disk size box, I like to choose gigabytes so I know what's going on, and type the size. You're going to have to make sure it's big enough to handle the operating system so I'm going to put 40. For the virtual hard disk format choose VHD or VHDX. I'm going to choose VHD because VHDX is only formatted in operating systems is not going to work this format is not supported in operating systems earlier than 8.1. I'm going to leave it as fixed size. You can get into a bit of trouble with dynamically expanding. And click OK. It's going to take a little while while the VHD is created. So I'm going to pause this. You can see it says creating virtual disk. I'm going to pause this and when it's done I'm going to come back. Now that the VHD is created, you're going to need to right click the new disk and click initialize disk. The trick is to right click here and not here. So we'll click initialize disk and we're going to choose MBR or GPT and you need to note that GPT is not recognized by all previous versions of Windows. I'm going to go ahead and put it in BR just to be safe in case I want to do something else with it and click OK. Now we've actually got the disk ready we're going to need to create a new simple volume on it so now we're going to right click on this side and click new simple volume we're going to work through this wizard I'm just going to keep the defaults note the drive letter in my case it's E you should write that down and I'm going to click Next and I'm going to go ahead and keep the defaults in TFS but I'm going to name this Test Windows. I'm going to click Next and Finish and I'm going to wait for this to finalize. Now once this finalizes uh, the hard part comes along. The hard part is See how now we have a healthy primary partition? Great, that's great. Now the hard part is, and I've written this down for you, in order to install Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or any other operating system on this new VHD that you've created, you're going to have to open Windows ADK. This is a free download uh, from Microsoft, so you may want to stop now and get that if you don't have it already. I'm going to find it on my computer right now and I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to search for ADK and I don't find it there. So let's go back to the desktop and let's open File Explorer and search for ADK. So after you've located the folder that contains the Windows ADK tools, locate the Deployment and Imaging Tools environment right click it and click run as administrator. A command prompt is going to open. 
Now I'm going to use an example that I did before I recorded this. So my E and F commands are going to be a little different than what you just saw in the example that I just built. However, you'll apply something uh, different anyway. Here's what it looks like. The command prompt comes up like this. Notice you've got your path. There's your assessment and deployment kit. You've got your deployment tools open. And the tool that you're going to use is called Image X. You're going to need to type that, a space, and a forward slash apply. You're going to type the path to the install.wim file. This is the Windows 8 installation file or 8.1 installation file. You'll notice in this particular example, it happened to be uh, in users with my name and three zeros, download, sources, install. In the example I just showed you on, uh, on this film, I actually had the installation file in the DVD drive. But this is an older one. I didn't want to install it all again and have, uh, you know, lots of them there. So I'm just going to show you this screenshot from the last time I did it. So you've got apply, you've got your location of the installation file, and then you're going to t uh, put a one and a space in it. And this F is where my VHD is. Now in the example I just showed you uh, in this video, it was E. Uh, however, I did this, you know, another computer and it, it works fine. So you're going to put F colon backslash. That's the location of the VHD. If you type all that correctly, and you press enter on the keyboard, you'll see the process of the image being applied to the VHD. You'll have to wait a long time for that. When that finishes, you have some more options. One is to type uh, B, let me, let me, you don't want to mess it up. You're going to want to type if you if you want to add this VHD to the boot menu you're going to need to type BCD boot a space and then the location of your new VHD in this case it would be F colon backslash Windows in the example we just did on the video here I believe it would be E colon backslash Windows uh, test Windows that's what it would be when you do that it adds it to the boot menu and that's pretty cool when you're ready at any time back in disk management you can right click the disk click attach VHD or detach VHD and you can use uh, disk management to perform other tools on those disks. Good luck!